All right, we're doing the half ahead. And the half ahead, which includes this guy over here, which will look like this on the same sort of system, um, deals with both the respiratory and digestive system here. So starting out with the respiratory system, we have the opening for the external nares that lead into the nasal cavity. These bumps in the nasal cavity are the nasal conchi, which you write, might remember from 168 as being parts of the of being a bone to itself, the inferior nasal conchi, and the middle and superior being part of that ethmoid bone. We have the pharynx down here, which goes to the atop of the esophagus and the trachea. This is the epiglottis in blue right here, that cartilage. These are cartilages as well. This is that thyroid cartilage, and then we have the cricoid cartilage here. This indention with the red around it is the glottis with the vocal cords on either side. So when you swallow food from the oral cavity, it comes to this area of the pharynx back here that's called the oropharynx. As it's hitting that, it will close off the epiglottis and continue down the esophagus. If you are breathing air, either through the oral or nasal cavity, it will go through, if it's the nasal cavity, the nasopharynx, which is this region up here, to that oropharynx behind the oral cavity, and continue here to the laryngeopharynx, the part behind the epiglottis or the larynx here, in through the larynx to the trachea. The hard palate is the separation by bone between the nasal and oral cavity, so it is in white here. The soft palate is the muscle at the end, and the uvula is the bit that hangs down behind that. Now, the other thing that's part of the digestive system are some salivary glands. This is the parotid gland here, kind of rhymes with carotid from the neck. We have sublingual, which is this, and you're looking at this peaches colored material here underneath the muscle. Turn this guy over. And there's another one here. This is the submandibular salivary gland.